OK, time to start. So hello, everybody. Um, I'm Aurélien Pupier. I'm working at uh, Red Hat. And uh, I'm working in a Fuse tooling team, which is a team uh, providing tooling for Apache Camel. And today I will uh, talk about uh, why um, and how you, you can use Apache Camel in, inside your uh, IoT architecture. So first question, uh, who knows uh, Apache Camel? Wait. Who is doing uh, IoT already? OK, so everybody, almost everybody knows both of them. That's nice. So just uh, for people that are not aware of all of that, so Apache Camel is a an integration framework, so it means that uh, it is designed to integrate a lot of applications all together to be able to uh, make them able to communicate, to handle when there is a failure on, on one side or an overload uh, on another side. And um, Apache Camel so is providing the framework to do the integration. It is based on what is called enterprise integration patterns. I uh, will explain after uh, what they are uh, a bit more. And Apache Camel is a uh, open source, and it is uh, one the the most used uh, open source framework in integration uh, classic integration world. So there is uh, hundreds, uh, more than two hundred of different contributors. It is a ten years old project, so there is already a lot of experience. And uh, we can see that uh, it is even more active in the, in the last years. So I mentioned enterprise integration patterns. So they are described uh, primarily in uh, one book, uh, which is also something like 10 years old, but uh, still relevant in a, a, a lot of cases. Uh, it describes a lot of... Um, uh, you know, a lot of patterns to be able to handle uh, the complexity uh, of uh, your integration project. So it describes a lot of things. It describes uh, how you you will try to, it helps you to describe how you will communicate, if you will do uh, some point-to-point -point communication, if you uh, will do publish and subscribe communication. Um, it will help you to do some correlation when you are sending message or uh, if you want to send a message and uh, do some uh, request and have a reply uh, on the same point, it will help you to, to route your message uh, depending on a, a lot of, uh, of information, uh, depending on the content of the message, depending on the system environment, um, depending on the load of your uh, inside your environment. Um, and yeah, a lot of patterns to help you to integrate all this, uh, all your different applications. So why do we want to use uh, this uh, project for IoT? Um, because uh, yeah, the, the first target uh, when it was created, it was to integrate some kind of big applications uh, yeah, some big applications and IoT is a big, uh, bit specific uh, compared to that. So we have different, uh, different roles. So we have some uh, device, so very uh, small device in a very constrained environment. You have the so the gateway, which is um, uh, making the communication with the device and also uh, with the cloud and which need to, to uh, exchange uh, um, the message between the devices and between the cloud platform, which need to be uh, to connect to a lot of different dev devices uh, using different protocols. Uh, it is used also to, to do some edge computing, um, so to, uh, yeah, to, to process some data directly uh, on the gateway before sending it uh, to the cloud platform on which you will have a, yeah, a more bigger uh, analy uh, analy and you will, <laughs> you will 
you will have bigger data analytics uh, stuff. And um, on the cloud side, you will also have uh, all the, the integration of your, uh, all your IoT uh, world and device world with uh, the rest of your application. So in this case, we, we are really in a more classical integration uh, in the sense of, uh, uh, of middleware integration. So where we can use Apache Camel? Uh, so there is uh, in the integration part uh, in the cloud, so that is quite obvious. Apache Camel is an integration framework, so it really fits well in, at that place. Uh, and so for that, you can uh, integrate with uh, OpenShift and uh, um, Capua. Um, so uh, there is not a lot more to, to talk about that. Uh, this is uh, uh, quite classical and uh, from this, f I mean, for this part of the IoT, you, we are really close to a classical middleware integration uh, stuff. But uh, in the middle for uh, the gateway, uh, you can also use Apache Camel uh, directly on your gateway. Uh, it was not designed for that uh, at the beginning, but uh, now it is working. It is integrated uh, in uh, Eclipse Cura for a um, few months. It was done a few months ago, I think, something like that. And so, yeah, uh, Apache Camel will uh, allow you to, to have some, um, uh, is providing you a lot of connectivity, uh, will allow you to, to exchange message and uh, to, to use a lot of different protocols and also to do some edge computing, some routing, some data transformation. This is, all of that already exists in Apache Camel uh, for classical middleware integration for, for a long time. So I will go uh, on some specific uh, part of uh, Apache Camel, and so starting with uh, ent enterprise integration patterns that will be uh, more useful in IoT field because there are, um, I think, uh, almost 50 that are described in the book, uh, but uh, in IoT, maybe you don't need all of them, but uh, so part of them are really useful. Um, for instance, uh, the contents-based router, so depending on the content of your of the data that uh, is sent, you will choose to uh, to use the different um, actions. I mean, for instance, you have a sensor which is sending a temperature. You you will want to do some uh, first edge computing on, on your gateways, and uh, dip, if it is uh, uh, above a certain value, you will take directly some actions and take a path, and otherwise you will just have a report and. Uh, to have a bigger data uh, analytic. You will be able to have some load balancing uh, for your actuators, uh, for instance, that uh, uh, it will be processed directly on your gateway. Um, you will be able to, to have uh, what uh, is called the important consumer, which will help you to have some transactional uh, messages. So when a message is sent uh, from your device, you will ensure that uh, it goes from the gateway and uh, uh, it will not be lost uh, before it is uh, handled correctly uh, on another actuators or on, um, in the cloud. And, yeah. and there is a lot more of enterprise integration patterns. But uh, yeah, I, I won't talk more about them. I will show you after that there is a long list. You will see. And another point which is really interesting is that Apache Camel is uh, coming with uh, a lot of components uh, to, to be able to connect to a lot of different uh, other applications and be able to support a lot of different protocols. I put some of them uh, on this slide. It's just the one which has a logo, but there are a lot more. <laughs> um, and for IoT, perhaps the most interesting one are that we have several for um, 
uh, all the Q stuff, so ActiveMQ, MQTT, IronMQ. Uh, we have um, some uh, components for Eclipse PAO. For, um, we have some components to communicate with the Cura Cloud. There, there are also some uh, Eclipse Milo uh, communication, so to use OPC UA uh, um, protocol. Uh, there is, for, uh, for instance, the EAC uh, 6870, uh, uh, which is used in energy field um, to, to communicate. So that we already are, there is already several uh, connectors that you can use. Um, uh, with Apache Camel. And uh, this is something which is extensible. Uh, the, uh, so you will just write uh, some lines of uh, Java and uh, you will be able to, to have the, the connection integrated inside uh, uh, your Apache Camel, uh, what we are calling so roots, so your treatment of information. So, I explain why uh, there, are, there is a lot of advantages uh, to reuse Apache Camel in uh, your IoT uh, architecture. And another uh, advantage is that uh, there is already several uh, tooling for development of Apache Camel in general. And uh, we will see how we can leverage that uh, to, to use it uh, in your IoT uh, in your I IoT structure. So for the cloud, it is also, the cloud part, this is also possible. I won't show, show it here today because uh, I want to focus on the uh, gateway part, which is very specific to IoT. For the cloud part, it's not really specific to IoT, so there is already a lot of tutorials. This is something not new for Apache Camel. So I can just point you, uh, I give you some pointers. Uh, uh, and let you have a look uh, if you want, um, if you want to test. For the gateways, uh, this is more interesting. We will see. Uh, so there is Fuse tooling, which is providing the, uh, some editors and debugging uh, for uh, your uh, camel, for Apache camel. And uh, we are also uh, provided um, GANs, which is here has provided uh, a Cura emulator Docker image uh, to be able to, uh, yeah, to, to develop uh, your, uh, your camel roots um, on all your, core, your uh, gateway applications uh, directly uh, on your laptop. So just a, a little picture of uh, the environment architecture that I will use uh, for the demo just after. So we have the Docker image. Uh, inside there is Cura and uh, Apache Camel, which is here by default. So in the image, uh, we added Apache Felix file install just to have a shared folder to be able to synchronize uh, with uh, the ID, uh, um, the, the new bundle, the new routes that uh, I'm currently developing. So every time I I'm changing the route. I'm able to redeploy it uh, directly in uh, my Cura instance. We open some debug port to be able to do uh, some uh, graphical debugging, so Java debugging and also graphical debugging to the, uh, to the on the Cura server. And on the uh, ID side, there is so it is based on uh, GBoss tools and with the Fuse tooling uh, plugins and. Uh, we are using uh, inside Maven some uh, plugins to be able to uh, to generate uh, the the Cura bundle directly and be able to redeploy it immediately. Okay, so I will make the demo. Is it visible? Uh, no. Um, can I change the resolution or no? no. Okay, so <laughs> try to open your eyes widely. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Um, I, I think I can zoom a bit on certain parts. So yeah, it, it is, uh, so in fact, for, to define uh, the treatment, uh, the rules, the, the way that you, you will handle uh, uh, the, the message that are arriving on your uh, gateway on how you are listening them, uh, how you will transform the data to some edge computing. Uh, you have the possibility uh, to write it uh, in XML. You have the possibility to write it in Java, and uh, when it is written in uh, XML, you have the you have the chance to have a graphical representation of it, so, and uh, be able to um, yeah to to add a new component to reorder everything. So just uh, I said that there are, there was several um, enterprise integration patterns. Uh, here you can see that there is. Uh, a list and a that are yeah, we in several categories. So there is already a lot of things that are available uh, by default, um, which is quite nice. There are some uh, several transformation uh, that are available uh, by default. You just have to drag and drop things, and uh, if so, this is quite useful for that. And uh, for the camel components part, so there are. Um, Few of them are filtered directly here, and otherwise you can see the full list, uh, for instance, uh, here. So you can see that there is quite a lot of uh, camel components that are available um, by default uh, in, a, in Apache Camel. You, you just have to add the dependency, and it will be bundled, and you will be able to, uh, to deploy it on your Cora server. And of course, you can also uh, create your own uh, camel components. Um, so here, my route is really simple. Uh, I have uh, one uh, which is just simulating that I'm sending uh, some uh, temperature, and uh, the the real route that I will deploy on my uh, on my Cora server is this one, the the first one, and I will just take the temperature and. Uh, Filter, uh, filter it, and uh, if it is above uh, uh, a certain temperature, I will decide to do uh, to do something uh, with it uh, to, to call an alert to send mail. And so here, uh, I'm using uh, a direct uh, camel component, but we can imagine that we can use uh, whatever uh, other camel component here. So I can listen to uh, um, to an active MQ. I can use uh, some uh, REST endpoint. I can use um, some OPC UA uh, uh, listening trigger. So er everything is possible. Um, so this is my rule. And so uh, what I want is to deploy it and my uh, uh, to test it uh, on uh, a Docker and. Be uh, no, Docker, on a Cura server. And um, so for that, uh, I have no devices here. Uh, for that, I'm using a Docker image uh, with a Cura emulator inside. And uh, I can use the tooling for that. So there are some images here. So I can uh, create a new, mo a new one and fill all the attributes. Or I have prepared one. Uh, launch configuration to run it with already configured, so it will be it will avoid to that I made some typo. Uh, I will just yeah mention so here I specifying uh, my shared folder uh, in order to be able to deploy to my Cura uh, server and that's not the correct one. Sorry, <laughs> so <laughs> this. Uh, launch configuration is to launch the Docker image. Uh, I just choose uh, the Docker image that I want, um, and I here I define uh, the shared folder uh, that uh, I want to use, and I also expose some ports for debugging, and that's all I can launch it, and uh, I have a Cura server which is available uh, on my machine. 
So that's cool. And so now I will be able to deploy my route uh, on the Cura server. So for that, uh, we can check here. Is it enough like that? Um, we can notice in the form.xml that uh, I am using uh, this plugin to generate the, the, the bundle which is deployable uh, on a Cura server. And uh, I'm using a specific profile to uh, copy uh, this uh, new artifact to the shared folder to be able to deploy it to the Cura server. Um, so yeah, currently there is a lot of configuration that you need to do. Uh, the idea is if you like it, uh, after to have some server adapters to do the deployment automatically or so on. Uh, so now it is working like that. So I have my launch configuration, which is using the profile. So if I launch it, uh, I it is building and we can see that uh, it is copying the, the jar to, to my short folders. And so now, if I have a look to my terminal, I can see that uh, I'm writing the t all the temperature data above 20 uh, degrees. So my camel route is deployed on the Cora server. And what is nice is that uh, you can, so you can uh, redeploy uh, as you want. For instance, uh, if I change, I will show you yeah, to notice that there is a change. I will connect uh, with GMX. So I said that I exposed some uh, some port to be able to uh, to connect to it. So yeah, <laughs> or not. Okay. Uh, still running. It seems no, it's still running. Okay. Uh, I won't spend time to investigate. I will stop it and use my backup query server. So Okay, so it's the same uh, Cura, the same image, just uh, another instance. Uh, okay, <laughs> and I can see that I have some. Uh, so this time I, I have not deployed yet the root, but I can uh, deploy it too. Just use the same folder. So yeah, there is a, a default root which is not uh, ours, which is here, for example, in the Cura images. So it is deployed. If I refresh, now I will soon have, yes, my route that I deployed. And uh, so every time I'm, I'm doing a modification on my, uh, on my project, I'm able to redeploy. Uh, so that's quite nice. And. Uh, Something else which is nice is that uh, now I can debug uh, my camera route, which is deployed on a Cura server. So for that, I can just right click here. So I'm connected the uh, camera route. And uh, if I put a breakpoint and wait one second, so the breakpoint is it. Uh, and I can switch to the debug view. And I can see uh, what is happening on the Cura server uh, for, for my camera routes. And I can, there is, this is a full debugger. I can uh, see all the values of uh, the data. I can uh, change them also. Um, yeah, for instance, here, yeah, if it is eight, I won't go to the next step, so I want to see when the value is higher. And if I go to the next step, I see that I go following the, the path that uh, I want. Uh, I can ensure that. So I can debug it. That's nice. Um, 
yeah, we can, I can do step by step on all uh, on, uh, on el all elements. In the right place it would be better. Okay, so that was all for the demo. I will switch back to the presentation. So just uh, yeah, to mention all the development advantage uh, using that is that uh, you are OS agnostic. As you can see, I'm uh, on Windows and uh, uh, Cura uh, server is not running on Windows uh, currently. So you can, re using the Docker image, you are able to develop also on your uh, Windows machine. Uh, you don't need any uh, IoT device uh, to be able to, to start to work on it. You have some graphical tooling. Uh, you have some debugging on the Cura server. So I have not sh shown it, but there is also the Java debug. And uh, so there is a graphical uh, debug and camera growth too. And yeah, if you try to remember one slide of the of the talk, so it will be just uh, why Apache Camel can be useful for you in IoT world. So in fact, they are using uh, similar patterns for a lot of things. Uh, I mean, um, all your devices uh, finally they are you can see them as another application and uh, it's just that you're connecting with them uh, with different protocols but we have the connectivity available for that uh, perhaps not for all now but you can extend it uh, and this is a project which is uh, already here for several years so you can yeah can't uh, benefit from all this experience that they acquire on it, and there is already some uh, advanced tooling uh, for that. So uh, that's quite nice. So I hope that you, you will want to leverage uh, the experience camel uh, in the future. Um, I will thank you for listening to me, and if you have questions, uh, this is the time. Any questions? Okay, so thank you.